so thank you guys for stopping in thank you to all the subscribers if you haven't subscribed please subscribe in this video I'll be changing out this 320 gig Western Digital hard drive and putting it in this Acer laptop uh, the Acer is in the description and the first thing I'm gonna do is just flip the hard drive over and just insert it into that slot there perfectly perfectly made to put that hard drive in it's a 2.5 um, hard drive of course it's a laptop hard drive now once I get it in I just want to make sure that it's um, firmly secured in that spot and then I'm gonna just take the uh, housing here and it comes with two screws now if you guys haven't seen part one of how to disassemble this laptop you want to check that video out um, and the description is right below as well and here is it um, link as well so you can click on this link right here and it will take you to part one alright so here I am pretty much putting in two screws uh, and these two screws holds the uh, hosing in place so that way it doesn't you know of course move around when you have your laptop so it's securely uh, fastened in here now um, pretty much it's more of the same the way I took the laptop apart is the way I'll be putting it back together it just in a reverse order Alright, so I got it in there and just want to make sure that it's not moving. At this point, I'll just grab the USB connector here, and this USB connector, as it goes slowly down, <laughs> it uh, it connects right into that slot there, if you guys can see that. So it just basically fits right in there, and it's kind of snug, but once you get it fastened in there, then you know you have it in there good. Alright, that's not going anywhere. So once you have made sure that um, this USB is connected, and of course you guys can see I'm just double checking it just to make sure, because you want to make sure that it's connected properly and not loose. If it is loose, your USB ports will not work on this side of the laptop. All right. So we'll go ahead and put the uh, cover on, and this is uh, the bottom piece here. If you guys can remember from the first video, it has a description of how everything lines up in the. Uh, and on the back uh, especially with the screws there's a lot of screws so pretty much I'm just getting it fit into the slots here just having it you know, naturally slide into place um, and I'm not forcing anything and that's the main thing with working on uh, a type of laptop like this you don't want to definitely not force anything in there because um, the parts will break first thing that I want to note is that I'm putting the laptop back together to the left here if you guys can see the USB ports um, now those ports basically keep the plastic piece in place so it doesn't move around once I'm trying to you know get it on um, it does take a while for you to just you know get it in the right slot or the right area the front part here is going to be your most difficult part to work with that being said, just have a lot of patience when you're working on your laptop. Please don't rush it and please don't force it. It will break. Alright, so here I am basically just um, getting the sides in. I'm just kind of um, maneuvering the, uh, the laptop or the bottom part of the laptop here. And I think it's actually in place. Now once it's in place, it's going to be all flushed. You know, meaning nothing is going to be uh, loose so everything is going to be pretty much well in shape and then from there you'll be able to just put the screws in like I'm doing here getting the screws in place is kind of pretty much the easiest part of this whole video so go around if you guys can look to the top left of the screen I have a lot of screws there and that's pretty much all the screws that goes in the back here and like I said in the first video as well um, it's probably a lot of screws here you know definitely over 10 screws that you have to put in place if not more than 10 screws all right so as we put another screw in and finish up here well, almost finished up another thing guys is um, I mean do not over screw or over tighten the screws okay because you will uh, you know you will kind of um, strip the screw and that would 
create another problem just like open another uh, can of worms if you do that so just keep that in mind you just want to have the screw you know tightly snub um, when you're uh, tightening it back up all right so still putting in the screws as you guys can see my screw pile to the left here is actually <laughs> it's going down it, I know it doesn't appear to be that way but uh, it's actually is going on and um, let's just make sure that everything is in place and usually you just want to make sure that you're putting the right screws in so uh, it's best to uh, kind of make a diagram or take a picture off the laptop before you start working on it I mean that's that's uh, an easy easy way you can avoid a lot of problems as far as you know disassembling and putting back the laptop together just taking a quick uh, picture quick snapshot of the laptop before you break it down or why you're breaking it down so that way you'll have something to go off um, just in case you forget something So at this point, still got a lot of screws here. I'm just, you know, screwing in and uh, getting all these screws in. Seems like a lot of screws here. So please bear with me while I attempt to screw one more in. And pretty much this section here is for the battery. So um, those screws are relatively smaller compared to the ones that fit into the. Uh, you know the plastic bezel like you see right there to the front of your screen with the three holes those are relatively deeper now here's the battery that we're putting in at this point if I can get it right alright so there you have it and it's now the reason why you see guys still see screws there is because um, I'm still working on a laptop but for me I like to actually check on it so if you guys look now fast forward the screws are gone because now at this point I've confirmed that the laptop is working and for the most part I just want to check in the BIOS right here usually how you get into the BIOS of course is that you would have to turn the laptop on and then hit F2 to get in the startup options <coughs> Excuse me. So the BIOS of course holds all the configuration data on the laptop as far as all your hardware, hard drives, all that stuff. You guys can clearly see um, in this section here I have the laptop hard drive that I just put in, Western Digital. Let's see if you guys can get a better look. Western Digital 320 gigabytes um, of storage here. And um, for the most part, the hard drive is in working condition right now. I actually have it uh, with a fresh image on here. So, um, and there you have it again. It's just it's in the boot up options. And I think this hard drive is um, is one of the uh, one of the best hard drives you, that you can get for the price. So you guys can purchase it on Amazon. Um, or of course you can you know check it out some other way but thanks for watching and you, you guys can see it's booting up I want to say thanks to all the subscribers and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and check out my website computerthings.com thank you